So we're off on a second photo kayak expedi expedition today on the Norfolk Broads. Today we're heading for the River Ant and launching at a little place called the Toad Hall Museum. And we're going we're to paddle down to Thurn Mill, which is which is south in the River Ant, and then we're going to paddle back up north to another mill, which I don't know the name of, to get some photographs of those. Now the joy of kayaking and uh, photographing is, especially with the Norfolk Broads, there are certain mills and certain locations for photographers you can't get to unless you've got a boat because they're on the other side of the marshes, you can't walk to them through the marshes but if you have a big cruiser you can do it or if you have a small kayak. I have an inflatable Intuit kayak, um, it's a three person kayak so I can have lots of stuff inside, I can overnight in it, I can go for a couple of days in it. But today we're just doing a very short trip, the one on the River Ant to, as I said, Thurn Mill. So, come with me on these, on these journeys. Thank you. So when you arrive, drive to Howe Hill. And then from Howe Hill, you'll see a signpost for the Howe Hill National Nature Reserve. From there, you drive into the Howe Hill house. So when you arrive at Howe Hill, don't follow the side to Toad Hall Cottages or Wildlife Trails, that one. What are the signs of that one? How Hill House only. And then turn left down that road to drop your stuff off. And it's, it says access to authorised vehicles only, but if you talk to the, anyone who's there, they'll let you down to drop your stuff off. And then you come back and go to the car park over here. So this is the road down from the house, which you take to get to this little parking area as close as you can to the put-in. So I put my stuff here, dropped it off and then went and parked in the official parking because parking here is for staff parking only. So uh, they don't mind you, I talk to the groundsmen, they don't mind you dropping stuff off and then taking it to the river. But they don't like you parking here. So here we are about to set off on the River Ant, um, heading up to the one windmill at the top there and then coming back for the smaller mill at the bottom. Thank <laughs> you. 
here we are, as you can see there's no mooring for boats here. But with a kayak, we can go right in the marshes somewhere and go to that side of the mill. So here we are at the other side of the uh, Ant River um, to get these shots which you couldn't get unless you could kayak in. There's a small pier which you can see which uh, is only pretty big enough for a uh, kayak. But there's a path that takes you all the way down the side of the river here which is probably, I don't know where it goes to. Maybe it's a long way walk to some, some way to get in this way, but I doubt it. So here we are on the north shore of the Ant River by Thurnham Mill. Now we paddled the other way down the river to the Boardman Mill, which is one of those very simple mills. Tells you the height of the water here. We're okay as far as height goes. So here's the Boardman Mill, which is a more modern, small water pump mill. So it's not really worth photographing, but it's always nice for a paddle. So I think we'll head home now and uh, see what we've got. But I may just paddle down the river a bit because it's so lovely today.
Well, that was a great trip. Another successful trip. Short trips with a kayak and photography. Hope you enjoyed it. Tune in next week. Thank you.